So what we're going to do now is to go through and create this example workshop. So click on activity and select workshop. Let's give it a name and in this case we're going to have Limerick. Give it an introduction. And then you select which features you want. And in this case, we'll just use self-assessment and peer review, not bothering with the example ones. Come down here and decide how we're going to do grading. And in this case, we're going to use a rubric. All of these other options can be pretty much ignored for default, although you may want to add in guidelines for submissions or also guidelines for assessments. Now down here, you can set the dates for when submissions and assessments happen, and also restrict availability. But the one thing I will set here is on the activity completion that it will be done when they receive a grade. So let's just save and display that. As you see here now, we have the Limerick exercise set up. So the next thing we need to do is to edit the assessment form. So we click on edit assessment form and then we see here the rubric which we have to create. So we look at the first criteria. So let's put in rhyming. And give the various level options here. Two. And three. And I'm just copying this from a text pad to set for speed, for setup. And let's go down to the second one. This one was based on rhythm. And then this one was checking on whether the different lines match. So we can just set those up, set the grade level, and move down to the third option, which if you remember, was about whether it was amusing or not. And in this case, we only have two options, one and two, which was no and yes. And that's it. And then we choose whether the rubric is a grid or a list. We'll leave it as a list, it's fine. And we can save and close. So at this point, you can see here, the only thing that was missing is providing instructions for submission. But we're good to go. So we can now click on submission phase and the students are ready to actually start submitting into the workshop.